Hi! It's us again! Lucky you! And we've got a special guest. We do have a special guest. Hello! It's <laughs> Tina! And that's my mum, for those of you who don't know. Um, Tina, you may recognise her from such videos as A Year in the Saddle Day 1. <laughs> a Year in the Saddle Day 2. A year in the... You get the idea. What are we talking about today? Well, I want to know what you've got there. This is a very broken folder. A year in the saddle. That's my 2016 world record. Ye- world record. Oh, I have a world record. It's my chicken year. <laughs> <laughs> it's my world record year. A lot of evidence for what record? The Guinness World Record for the furthest distance cycled in a year by a woman. Which was how far? The original record that was set by Billy Fleming was 26,603 miles, I believe. Guinness set a um, target of 50,000 kilometres. The total mileage was 52,025 kilometres which equates to 32,326 miles. So you mentioned Billy. She was your inspiration, I believe. Yes, she was. So she uh, passed away in 2014, which then resulted in an article about her and what she'd achieved. And then I read that and it planted a seed. For some reason, no, I decided that I could do that. I can do that. Sure, I can do that. It turns out I could. You could do that. <laughs> Lots of strangers on the internet didn't believe you could do that. That is true, yes. <laughs> there were a lot. Lots Never read forums about your own all. challenge. <laughs> Don't ever do that. <laughs> yeah, that, that hurts. Because I started triathlon yeah. back end of 2012. It was only a year later, 2014, that I decided to, to do it. So I'd mm. only been riding for less than a year and a half. Is that the right math? I wasn't listening. <laughs> Bought a caravan because mum was going to be supporting me through the year. Um, weren't you, mum? Yes, of course. Come in, come in, come in. about where that meatball went. There it is. There it is, yes. Is it? Bumble. <laughs> Bumble. Look at that. Oh. I'm no longer concerned. Okay. Thank you, Mum. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. I thankfully met Andy Ramsdale from Leisure Lakes who uh, still is now one of my heroes in life. Leisure Lakes were absolutely amazing and they provided me with a bike and <laughs> essentially said, well, if you manage to do it, you can keep it. They didn't actually believe that I would do it because I walked in there looking like a rookie because I was a rookie. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. It was naivety that got me around the entire thing. <laughs> so, I guess they must have seen something in me because they helped out. So. I got the bike from them and um, I'll post a little uh, vlog on the edit to, to show me introducing my bike during the year. People, Billy, Billy, people. The bicycle is a um, specialised Ruby comp. I have aero bars on it from Redshift Sport uh, and a Redshift Sport 
dual position seat post, Apidura bags, top shoe bag and saddle bag. They're doing pretty well really. I've got a Garmin 810, uh, a 910 XT, Garmin 200 and I've got a dictaphone to record my thoughts. And Leisure Lakes also did all the servicing. I got some kit from Chapeau. Chapeau. Beautiful kit from oh. Chapeau actually. Yes, it, and oh my God, their shorts were just the best. Training, yes. Um, I contacted Brian Steele, uh, who is a former Olympic and Commonwealth medalist. And he uh, took me under his wing and um, taught me how to ride a bike, <laughs> according to mum. <laughs> With one stabilisers. Yeah, it actually felt a little bit like that. Now I've got an image of Brian Steele running behind you, holding his saddle. Go, guys, and go! <laughs> Be free, my child. <laughs> Early morning uh, rides. I mean, I would I would be up at four o'clock. Um, I remember know, seeing your Strava. I'd like get up in the morning and I'd be like, "Oh, guys, your Strava's making me tired." <laughs> yeah, three <laughs> I'm going hours back before to bed. work. Okay, so as part of the evidence for Guinness. I had to give them a bunch of information. So I created this handy form uh, that I filled in, which was... Well, I never realised you created those. I always thought they were from Guinness. Yeah, I thought so too. Really? Yeah. yeah. No, so it's all me. Because I had to tell them where That's I started, where I finished. <laughs> the, and then I had the daily distance, the total distance, which was completely wrong. Um, <laughs> the date, obviously, start time, finish time. And then I had to document every single time that I stopped and the reason for it. It actually ended up being quite funny. This is, here's Faffage for you. Five minutes, check map. Two minutes, check map. Five minutes, take picture and check map. One minute, check map. Two minutes, check map. Do you think I was lost on that day? <laughs> Started off doing 100 miles a day for a couple of days, and then things just took a downturn. Why? Here, I was fighting the wind um, because of the weather mainly. Um, Is it not nice in January? Uh, it's, it's a bit hit and miss. Not so good in January, apparently. Yeah, and also it was a shock to my system. If you remember yeah. the food, yeah. So I used to eat porridge in training, absolutely fine. I had porridge for like two days, and then I couldn't stand the sight of it. Couldn't eat anything. Lost loads of weight. For two weeks, I was barely eating anything. It started with the um, recovery pancakes. Yes. So pancakes, you... of course. <laughs> of course, that solves pancakes. everything. Pancakes. They solve mm. everything. They yes. rule. The first week that Kaiser was doing her challenge, I did no work whatsoever. I just watched Dot. <laughs> Apart from when I was on the bike with you. Well, I used to meet Kaiser to cycle with her, and he used to watch the Dot and go, oh, it's coming up to my house. Time to leave. I'll go here, and the dot will go. Dum -dum. <laughs> <laughs> was... like, no, I've got to pedal like mad <laughs> to get to the dot. <laughs> there was a lot of Kaiser chasing going there was on. There's a lot that of year. Kaiser chasing. <laughs> there was a lot. Russell once spent an entire day chasing you and nearly lost a toe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing was, um, he was ahead of me. <laughs> Hi, Russell. <laughs> um, sorry. Yeah, she yeah. Sorry, sorry about I'm your toe. Sorry. <laughs> but I've got it in a jar just here. <laughs> My first puncture. So I went to the fens, and that's a great place when you've got a tailwind. Amazing. Oh, <laughs> you really motor on. But then you get to a 90 degree turn, turn that way, can't move. It's like falling into a ditch. I was actually fearful for my life. So I stopped, I flagged someone down, and uh, told them to put my bike in his car. <laughs> Which he started to do, and then by some kind of miracle, it's like, hallelujah, hallelujah. Adina, Adina, Adina with a caravan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Train. Kaiser <laughs> is a train summoner. Yes, that was it. I became the train summoner. <laughs> Any level crossing, it's a train. Here, I was waiting for a train for train. four minutes. And the three minutes, a little bit Two earlier. Two on one day. Yep, there were so many floods. 
So many floods. Contemplating yeah. floods. Yeah, because there was a massive lake on the on the route. So where were you that day? It was uh, we finished Essex. Lands. Well, hang on, we're day we're day twelve. We're twelve days in. We stopped for a cry already. Yeah, that's a long time still to go in the year, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Wind. Yours or external? <laughs> I can't tell. It just says rest from the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this day. Stop to cry. Stop to cry again. <laughs> that was only five minutes later. I've had enough. Today was a struggle. Everything hurt. Like everything hurt. My legs would cramp up when I was going up the, up like the, a tiny incline. And they've been getting better. They shouldn't be doing that. And they're naughty. It was cold and windy. And I just didn't like it. My neck hurts. So I must be sitting like this. I've got some lovely friends sending me lovely messages. So that's really nice. That makes me happy. And hugging my mum and my dog makes me happy too. So. Doctor NHS walk-in centre to get bites looked at. That's your chill blaze, is it? Yeah, I think it must be. That must be my chill blaze. Yeah. yeah. It started off with just like... Just like you thought it might be a tick bite to start with. <laughs> we were like, oh, I think you should get that checked at the doctor. Yeah. Yeah, then it just got bigger and bigger and bigger and then by the end of it it was like this. On my yeah. side. Doctors all had to go and get other doctors and go, yeah. we haven't seen these for 30 years. <laughs> it was leprosy, wasn't it? <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Dr Google said that it was leprosy. <laughs> so I went with that. <laughs> so here was when I started logging some notes. So this was the first one. The temperature and the weather. How many flies I ate. Zero um, that day, a good day. People I rode with, um, punctures, bike faults, water drunk, tea drunk, uh, what I had for lunch, an earworm, um, thoughts of the day, that was quite interesting, and interesting sights. Uh, here's a day full of ducks. Tufty duck, duck trying to drown other duck, baby ducks. <laughs> Lance when playing when and we, Puck the duck. Puck the duck. I love Puck the duck. Uh, yeah, Puck the duck became like a, a, a legend. He's like a little mascot. Yeah, he was. Um, oh yeah, and here I started learning French. Obviously, because yep. what are you going to do? Yeah, learn some doing French. Else all year. So I learned the phrase, which I don't remember now, was uh, what impression do you have of the political and economical situation in France at the moment? <laughs> and then if anybody had answered, you'd be like, Je ne comprends pas. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't, because I hadn't learnt that yet. But I had learned this. <laughs> so at this point, you're kind of riding on your own quite a lot. Um, no, I'm riding with no, okay. friends a lot. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, for the first four and a half months, um, I rode with loads of people. I rode with, uh, well, Mick, obviously, because he, uh, he rode with me more than anybody, I think, that year. Um, Steve joined me loads, um, Russell for the first half, Jules, Chris, uh, yourself of course, uh, Anne, Johnny, Ju, Tom, oh, I'm sure I'm going to miss someone but I'm sorry if I did, sorry. Took the loneliness out of it and you know, I think if it wasn't for them I would have probably gone insane or given up. Should we first? <laughs> the sun will come out tomorrow Bet your bottom dollar Tomorrow Will be Bright <laughs> Summer I think I will. And then I went to Europe. <laughs> so what, what are we what so are we doing next week? What are we doing next week? Well, we've been on an adventure. We have been on a bit of an adventure and we'd like to share it with you. Where do we go? Um Wakey Wakey Wakefield. Wakefield. I, yeah. That comes into the episode via Conisbrook Castle, very beautiful, and a very beautiful viaduct. Mm. And I don't think we should get too much more. And we're not telling you any more, so you'll have to tune in next week to find out all about it. Okay, we shall see you next week. Bye! Hiya, <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I'm doing the, the daily diary myself today.
because um, mum's just, I think she's off a trolley, I don't know what on earth is going on. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, so it was very cold today, but very nice sunny day, it was lovely, and uh, <laughs> she's been watching Walking Dead and honestly she gets so into it I'm actually scared that if I let her in she's uh oh <laughs> yeah I've never noticed. <laughs> that was weird. Bumble. And this is all basically unusable, Bumble. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bumble, can you stop being <laughs> tall, please? Keep <laughs> that bit in. <laughs>